Good morning. Welcome back to Brazil. We are going to get some corn in the ground in our big field, field 14, which is opposite the cows and chickens. So, here we go. Soybean, let's get this switched to corn. There we go. Let's get horse uh, warmed up. There we go. It's actually worked out having to move all these because it's given us a bit more of a gap down that side to get things around. Was it a pain? Of course it was. So I definitely wasn't expecting to have to do that. So, yep. But, as you can see, the planter is full. We did get it topped up in the last episode. And I need to really try and steer properly. All right, let's just have a quick check. How is, let's get on here, growth. Okay, so what we planted, the sugar cane, has started growing. I was going to do uh, a bit of planting this corn the same day, but about 10 minutes after I finished recording, on here, it rained all night, which was, uh, wasn't fantastic. It was really annoying. But it is what it is, and wow, that shaded area came in real quick. At least let the sun through a little bit, that'd be nice. Still, looks nice though, doesn't it? Coming down here, horse and the planter. Or should we call it the horse and cart? You have to let me know. Should we call this the set up the horse and cart? Because the big boy's name is horse, and it is pulling this, so the horse and cart. Alright, let's slow down a minute. Ooh, there, a bit wobbly bob on the old turn in. I was going to say, after we have got this corn planted, we really are going to have to go out and uh, get some fertiliser on our fields. Come on, come on. Still can't believe it. It said on the weather. Uh, yesterday's weather anyway on in game that it was gonna stop during the night for a little while and I thought you know what we'll do a bit of night planting is it great for YouTube not really but the lights on horse definitely make up for that but uh, yeah it rained all day and I do try to keep to realism but you know as you've seen on six ashes I mean realism goes out the window with that one with the amount of things that go on but I try and wow I can tell it's really early there's no traffic what's going on I know traffic is turned on where are you oh there's one car and I'm on the wrong side of the road come on Mr. B get with the game get with the game so as you see we're gonna be planting corn is this gonna be our first corn plant I you know what I can't remember for the life of me let's have a look we've got Three sugarcane fields. Uh, we've got one soybean field, three cotton fields, one sunflower field. Hmm. Not bad at all. Yeah, all right. I'm moving. Come on now. Now they can just sit there and bib at this big thing. I mean, all I'd have to do is reverse, and it'll go over them like a monster truck. Come on now. Right, uh, we have to turn right down here, and we'll go our way. I did um, buy some more seed and fertilizer from the store for our sugarcane planters, so they are topped up full again on both. Cost a uh, fair bit of money, but... You know, to run a farm, you've got to spend money to make money, as the saying goes. And wow, whoa, 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 that sugar claim, sugar claim? Oh, Mr. P, come on now, sugar cane, looks like it's growing fantastically, which is what we want. Really do need to get some fertilizer on this sugar cane to make it more profitable, give us a better yield. 
I have put all the uh, equipment away. As you can see, the masses, I think, if I remember rightly, I did put them in that unit there, I think. I'm sure I did. Let me just quickly check. I'm sure I put them in here. Oh, yeah, I did. Right, there's the, they're massive. They're absolutely filthy. They need a good clean. But there we go. The planters, the sugar cane, are topped up. I put that back in here with the masses and that thing, which I haven't really used. So could possibly just sell it. I haven't really used it because we've got that many cows. It just works out quicker and easier to use the big semi that we've got for giving them straw. But I am going to stop giving them straw uh, because I do want to concentrate on a slurry. Right, so that one there should be field 13. E yes, it is. Field 14 is the... Wow, that field that looks a lot bigger than I initially thought. Oh, there needs to be some herbicide in these fields as well. And the old weed's starting to pop up. Alright, so let's turn this way. Come on, horse, work with me now. Alright, let's pull that way a little bit. Alright, let's get this opened up. Oh. I think that is really cool. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Slight little wobble on it. <coughs> That's really cool. This looks absolutely brilliant on those crawler tracks. Great addition to it, that's for sure. But, here we go. Let's just get lined up a little bit better. Here we go. There we are. Alright, so corn going in the ground. Let's get the planter on. Let's get it lowered down, and uh, away we go. And I really do like the planted texture of this field, but when you are um, like direct drilling, it does make it a little difficult to see uh, where you're going because both textures look the same. Well, obviously, you know the harvested text after you finish does have that uh, stalky look to it but it is still the same background as this one so it can be a little bit difficult to see got to go at like a slight angle a little bit just to see the stalks but other than that not too bad uh, well, it's pretty big field we're going to get a fair amount of corn from this and i am glad that we do have the ideal uh, that big thing. Is it the Fent Ideal or do we have the Massey Ideal? Can't really remember which one we've got. Do I do think it has the Massey logo on it. I think. I'm probably wrong. Alright, get lower down. Because I did have to do a little bit of uh, terrain editing around this field as you, you already know I put a little bit of extra grass just around there because there is a really bad as you can see there is a really bad dip round about here just all that goes pretty much all the way along it does make it pretty difficult so I did try to get the worst out by just putting grass there so we won't really have to worry about it but there are still some little areas you know where it just won't plant because the ground's just not level but it's a field you know it's not supposed to be out exactly flat is it i mean look at this field up and down like a yo-yo i absolutely i don't know if i can tell you enough I absolutely love this tractor. Oh, look down there, residential area. Wonder if they're in this early in the morning. 
They're probably just getting up, cracking the dust from their eyes. And I'm already out in a tractor. Planting away. Like I say, look, the early bird catches the worm. And uh, I did, like I said, I did want to get this planting done uh, last night so it'd be in like the same growth, growth stage as the sugar cane. But it was just absolutely hammering it down all night. It did not stop. It said it was going to stop, uh, I think it was like between, uh, I, can't, I can't remember when it said it was going to stop, but it said it was going to stop. And it didn't stop. And I was like, oh, you know, I, I really want to get the cotton in the ground at the same stage as the sugar cane. But yeah, the farm sim gods and Mother Nature was just uh, not on my side. But that's okay. Oh, that looks nice down there. Oh, what on earth is that? Well, that's nice. Oh, I would not want to drive horse over that. There is no way I'd want to drive horse over that. I mean, just look how big it is. Right, did I lift it up? Yes, I did. Alright. What on earth is that noise? That's certain birds. What's that, what type of birds do they get over there? In Brazil. I don't know. As you can see though, I did alter around this field as well. Just around this edge. Uh, with the old uh, grass terrain tool. The old paintbrush. I was, over, oh, I was all over this map like Bob Ross. The only difference was, I was putting in happy little grass, he puts in happy little trees. <laughs> what a way to do it. Comparing that to Bob Ross, Mr. P. You're not normal, Mr. P. You're not normal. Really shouldn't take that long to get this field done. Especially with this corn. The planter is pretty big. And we've got horse to do the business. Like I said, though, I do want to get some wheat planted. Uh, so we we can just get that put in the chicken's silo. Uh, also, possibly look at uh, getting some grass cut and put in the bunker silo. For silage. Because all we have right now is the amount of TMR that I did put in the cow's silo already uh, I'm not entirely sure how much is in there because on the hub for some reason it, it doesn't show you the TMR which is really annoying, I wish it did oh look at horse go, it's like it's not in phase going up here 9, oh I was going to say uh, a, a whopping 9 mile an hour now oh, going down 6 Tell you what, though, you've got to have a powerful tractor in real life, you know, to be able to power up that that steep of an incline and have the power to run the planter as well off that uh, if it runs off the PTO or the uh, hydraulic systems or, or, or whatever or the electronic systems. I don't know. I don't exactly. That's just a bit shady down here. Uh, I don't know how these systems work in real life. There we go. I am getting a good response from everybody for this series, which I want to thank you all once again. Honestly, I can't thank everybody enough. I mean, I'm glad you like the uh, the episodes, the series, my rants, my brain farts. There you go. Come on then. Let's go. That don't need lights on anymore. I only needed it just for that shady there. Because there are some spots where it could be literally the middle of the day. But because it's just a little bit of a shaded area, you really struggle to see. So, yeah. I'm just glad this field was already cultivated. And I can, honestly, I cannot remember for the life of me if I actually cultivated it before this series started. I probably did. That's how I got the hours 
already on on horse. But how stunning does this look? Ah, oh, beautiful. So if you haven't got this uh, beautiful John Deere in your game, you, you definitely need to have a go with it. It is absolutely beautiful. And I have seen there are some nice lizard modded tractors that have come out. Like the, the TM14, TM17. Uh, there are a couple of others which I'll be putting in some other Let's Plays. Possibly the next Let's Play with... Uh, Precision farming, that's gonna be daunting. Ooh. One thing as well with the Valley of the Old Farm, uh, we've got the forestry work that we need to get done on there. Need to get some grass cut on six ashes. And we've got a lot of planting to do over here in Brazil. Just straighten out. Am I going to have a brain fart, Miss P? No, I'm not, because I'm awesome. I'm Mr. P. And wow, that overhang is absolutely dreadful. I was disgusted, Mr. P. One of these days, Mr. P will be able to farm. And he will say something that makes sense. But obviously, today and the other day when I recorded the other episode, just not that day. <coughs> now we look it. Come on, horse, get us up there. Ah, shit. It's like a Flora bright stallion, is this John Deere? When you need that extra little bit, it always gives. There we go, down we go. So I do believe in our Let's Plays we only have two tractors with names. We've got the Hulk, uh, which is in the Valley of the Old Farm, and now we have Horse. Oh, no, tell a lie. Thinking about it, on Six Ashes we have Little Buddy. See, that was a brain fart. Look at that little mound just there. Can you see it? Wow. This field is all over the place. Oh. Yeah, we're closing in on getting a fair amount of this field done. Look at that already. We've only got that little bit left to do. Wow, horse, you're doing a cracking job. we you pulling your cart. Alright, here we go. The old horse and cart. <laughs> oh dear. You know, no matter what this is pulling, we're going to say it's the horse and cart. <coughs> but this does look absolutely stunning. I mean, the attention to detail, if you could actually see, is absolutely astounding. I mean, like I said, I couldn't even do a wing nut for a tractor, or let alone, uh, you know, big mods like this. I mean, you're lucky if I could do, you know, one of the tread marks in a tyre. So I appreciate every single modder out there that, that does this work. And, you know, be able to bring it out of the console. I know it's not easy because of licensing, but, you know, hopefully in the next farm sim, I would like to see them um, bring out an old machinery pack in-game. I mean, that, I think that's what's missing, because nine times out of ten, as you know, they, they put all like the newest machinery in, the occasional older model, but not like classic tractors, you know, like this thing. I mean, it's the modding community that come out and say, look, People do like the older style machinery. I mean, the old... Because with me, I love the old tractors, the old style. But then you've got to look, with console, how many planters can you use that haven't... <laughs> that you can use with the old style 
because of the low horsepower? How many cultivators can you use? Seeders and, and things like that. You have to take that into account. You know, the old harvesters. You, you, you don't just want old tractors. You want old harvesters. You want old loaders. Skid steers. You know, that, that, that's me anyway. I mean, I absolutely love the old stuff. I mean, if you've been watching my channel for long enough now, I always <coughs> try to have one piece of machinery, if not a couple pieces of machinery, that are pretty old. You know, it just adds, adds character, I think. <coughs> but that, that's my rant whilst we're doing corn. How we get on? There we go. Let's just start going up and down now. Now a little bit. The only thing is with these type of uh, tractors, uh, the old camera does like to wiggle around a bit. So when you're doing like a montage, you do have to try and keep it in position when you're turning. Else it, it literally does this with the camera. I mean, it can be a bit painful on the old eyeballs. That's for sure. Go around this tree, I think. Uh, am I gonna hit that tree? Yes, Mr. P, you're gonna hit that tree. Right, let's just wiggle around a little bit. There we go. Get it lower back down. And we will go around this tree area. There we go. Uh, right, well, I'm, I think I'm going to use the little terrain tool for a moment. Just get a little bit of grass around here, because look how close that tree is. I mean, that is ridiculous. So, let's just do this. Which, I'm trying to think which terrain it is. This one, I believe. Just give you the weeded area. I think that's a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to spend a little bit of money. Just makes it look a lot better than the tree's not right at the edge of the old field. Yeah, it looks not a lot nicer now, I think. But that's just me. Mr. P's weird. Birds are really lively this morning. There we go, down we go. Just so I can get a little bit of an overhang. But still, the visual aspects of this map are oh, beautiful. It's like you do get the occasional when you turn in, you know, like a mountain will just vanish, but you know, that's just with a field of view for console. So you'll have to let me know uh, down in the old comment section what is your favourite map? You know, what's your go to map? You know, when you just want to relax. Just want to do a little bit of farming. What is your go-to? Alright, let's uh, carry on. There's only this little bit left. I will go around and just go straight down that way. Let's get a different crop in the ground. There we go. Uh, oops, slow down my speed. There we go. Should be one more pass, and that will be this field done. Hopefully, he says. Uh, 
There we go. One more pass. The old horse and cart making a lot work of this. Absolutely brilliant. But I did say in the previous episode, let me know what do we plant in our other fields. Are you going to fold up? Yep. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, that sounds absolutely stunning. And I love this John Deere planter. And how that goes up and latches in. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Right. Let's get this uh, out of the way. That's this field done. Corn planting should be. Let's just have a quick check. Yes, it is. That's uh, where the tree is in the centre. That's a little bit of take takeoff because there was that slight bobble in the field, which was pretty annoying. Right. In the planted stage. Hopefully, that germinates. It should do. Let's have a quick look at the germination of uh, corn. It needs 5 Celsius. And right now, oh, more than enough. Ground temperature of 20. And, whoop, wrong way, Mr. P. And the air temperature of 16. More than enough in sunny old Brazil. Let's just uh, get this back. What I might do is park this over here because I'm not exactly sure what you're going to be wanting planted or seeded because we do have the two masses that do run uh, our other cedars. So we'll just pull this in here. We need to try and smooth that off a little bit. It's a bit of a, a dip. Alright, how are the chickens getting on? Alright, still one box in there and they're doing that one. That's just random. And this... Okay, I don't get why this one... They are still staying in that box, but the other one... They're going in separate ones. That, to me, is really weird. But, what power requirement is required for the Hercules? Uh, we need 125, and I think all of our tractors have um, 125. Uh, definitely the John Deere, or horse. 145 for that. So 145. 125. Hmm. Looks like the little Valmat is uh, going to be spreading some solid fertiliser. So, if I head back to the farm, we'll get the Valmat. And um, do we have a small cultivator? Don't think I do. No, I've only got the big boy. Okay, because we do need to cultivate up. Uh, our small field over here that we did harvest, 27. Do need to get that cultivated up. But if we go on soil composition, I can't really see which fields need fertilizer and which don't. But we can definitely get some on some of our fields. 19 will probably definitely need a line, but I. I can't really see the fertilizer stage, which is annoying because on soil composition, it's it's not giving me the option to check, and it's not showing me anything on the growth stage either, which is pretty much a pain. But I do know that some of the fields they are going to be needing 
some fertiliser. So, like I said, I'll see you in the Val map. We'll get connected to the Hercules spreader. And we'll spread a bit of solid fertiliser. So, back at the farm. Here is the beautiful Val map. And the ever-changing Brazilian truck. Or pickup, whatever you want to call it. Oh, here we go. Let's get the old Val map going. Let's get the old weight put on the front. Oh. There we are. That connected. And out we go. Do like the look of this spreader. I've never used it. Hopefully it's alright. Alright, let's get some solid fertiliser in here there we go I do like how I've got these a little bit higher just to accommodate for the planter I didn't really realise how high it'd need to be so it's going to take a while isn't it hmm. I love the sound of this Valmark is that wood? <laughs> Is that wood in there? Don't know. But I do have the mod uh, there for the three-point linkage. So it gave this thing a three-point linkage on the front, which is brilliant. So I could just have some of that added weight on the back in case this has to pull something really heavy. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but you never know. So how much did that cost? 19,200. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. 19,200. For 10,000 litres. That was costly. But, is what it is. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, come on, Valma. You can do it. Come on. Up you get. It's doing it. Make me proud. There we go. It got up there. Eventually. Can it go up here? Get the old cruise control on. Make my life easier. I do want to spread in the field. Just beyond this grass field. get on a straight bit and then I'll stop because I can't remember exactly remember what we've got planted in there. Uh, let's just stop for a moment. What do we actually have planted in 26? Not 26, 24. Wheat. Oh, okay. Well, that's brilliant. Going to need wheat for the chickens. And we can uh, keep the swath, make some bales, get the old case baler going. Ooh, bit speed demon down there. Hello down, Mr. Pete. <laughs> How is this going to do on this decline down here? Alright, okay. Alright, come on. Let's... I'm not exactly sure of the width of this spread. But I'm sure we're going to find out. There we go. That's actually not that bad. Pretty widespread and couldn't be a bit fine on the right hand side, but it is what it is. Do you want to know why? It's alright, it's because it's my farm. Do what I want. Wow, that's a really widespread. It's pretty impressive. So we'll get the headland done. Hopefully, I don't fly down this cliff side. There you go, let's reverse. Yeah, there's always a use for a beautiful little tractor like this. So this field isn't massive, and with this spread of this thing being better than I originally thought. Nice. 
Are we going to be able to reverse back up here with this thing? I don't know. Alright, let's stop. Uh, has it got the power to reverse it back up? Of course it has. No worries whatsoever. <laughs> it is struggling though, bless it. Poor little thing. Alright, let's uh, get the old cruise control on. See if we can get back up here. Get the old spread on again. So I really do like this uh, this Valma. But when I first did put this tractor on this series, <laughs> it did say Voltra. And then all of a sudden, because it had an update and the change to the name and everything, the one that I had originally did vanish. Oops, it's more than an hour. Come on, Valmat, you can do it. Say, originally, the field at the side of us there was uh, an arable field, but just look at the incline on that field. I mean, everything's probably going to struggle on there. So I thought I'd turn it into grass, make my life a lot easier. So we have two grass fields, I believe. Let's just cut across a little bit. There we go. Spread is a little wider than I thought. Still, it's nice to get the old Valmata run out. The old masses have done some work. Horse is definitely putting in the shift. Now it's the Valmat's turn. Give me over a little bit. Good stuff. Is it going to struggle going up here? Is it going to be wiser to try and go sideways? Like that way across? More than likely it is uh, struggling a touch to get up here. But that is, uh, that is a bit of an incline. Look at that. It's doing it though. Poor little thing. Probably end up blowing the engine by the time we've done half of these fields on this map. Right. Say two more passes. Possibly, I was going to say possibly one, but I think it is going to be two passes. We'll get this field spread, and then that will be the end of this little episode. Got a, a lot more spraying to do. I don't exactly know how we're going to fertilise our rice fields. Do you drain the water out? I have no idea. If you do know, you know, feel free to let me know because I don't have a clue at all. Let's try and get central. Is it going to get it all? Maybe, maybe not. That seems to be doing it. Oh, it's like I knew what I was doing. Look at that. Alright, let's get that field done. Beautiful. But, like I say, we do have a lot more fertilising that we do need to get done. Uh, I can't really see right now uh, what needs doing, because as you can see, look, the growth and soil composition just aren't showing up for me so I can't switch between the ploughed state, lime, weeds and fertiliser which is annoying but as you can see definitely looks a lot better there now do need to get the old herbicide on these fields the, the weeds are starting to pop up like a bad smell but that is going to be it for the end of this episode I hope you did enjoy it as always, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you here real soon. 
in the beautiful, sunny, well, overcast-ish, Brazil. See you soon.